Hi, this is Pam from the Birch Cottage blog. In this video tutorial, I'd like to show you just how easy it is to turn plastic shopping bags into reusable plastic yarn or plarn for short. Let's take a look how easy it is, shall we? To begin with, there are just a few supplies that you'll need. You'll need a bunch of plastic shopping bags, of course, just make sure they're nice and clean. You'll need a pair of scissors. You can also use a rotary cutter, a ruler, and a cutting mat if you prefer, and a crochet hook. The first thing that you will want to do is to take your plastic bags and stretch them out and lay them flat, and then you're gonna stack the bags up maybe two to four at a time. So lay your shopping bags one on top of the other and smooth them out and try to get them even. Once you have two to four shopping bags stacked on top of one another, you're gonna fold the plastic bags in half lengthwise, and then you'll fold them in half again. So again, take your shopping bags lengthwise and fold them in half, smooth it out, and then you're gonna take it and fold it in half again. Next, we're gonna trim off the handles with our scissors and we're gonna trim off the bottom seams as well. And then you're just gonna discard the handles in the bottom. So again, we're gonna trim off the handles or cut the handles away. And then you're gonna trim off that bottom seam of the shopping bags. And you're gonna discard both of those pieces. All right, once you've trimmed off the handles and the bottom seam, you're going to fold the plastic bags in half again, and then we're gonna cut across the plastic bag in one inch strips. When you cut your strips, you do not have to measure these. You can just eyeball it and do a one inch strips. Uh, but be sure to pay close attention to the pattern that you're using because it may specify a different width. So you'll just repeat that process with your remaining shopping bags. You should end up with a nice pile of loops. Next, you're gonna unfold all those strips you just cut and you're gonna knot those loops together into a single strand of plarn. When you unfold the loops you just cut or the strips that you just cut, you're gonna see that each strip is now a long loop. Well, we're gonna take those loops and we're gonna knot them together to make one long strand of yarn. It's kind of like tying rubber bands together if you've done that. So take the end of one of your strips or your loops of plastic bag, insert the other loop through and then you're just gonna pull that through loosely and then tighten it as you get near the end. Now don't pull too tight or you're gonna rip your shopping bags. Again, take the loop of one end of your plastic bag and a loop of another one and then just attach them like you're attaching rubber bands. I should mention that it's important to keep those plastic bag loops straight as you knot them. So you'll knot, then you kind of pull the knotted loop nice and straight till you get to the end, and then you'll attach your next loop to the, your strand that you are creating. When you have knotted all your loops of your plastic bag, it is now time to just roll it up like you would be rolling up a skein of yarn, except you're rolling up your plarn. When you are ready to crochet with your plarn, you use it just like you would any other skein of yarn. Here I'm finishing up crocheting a coaster just to show you how easy it is to use this plarn. Now remember the plarn is uh, double-stranded because we looped 
all of our strips of our plastic bags together to form a nice long strand of yarn. And here I'm just doing some simple double crochet to finish off this coaster. So yarn over, insert my hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on my hook, yarn over and pull it through the last two, and I have a double crochet made. And now I'm just going to slip stitch into my beginning double crochet and finish that off and I'm all through uh, with my coaster. Of course, I'll cut off a strand and I'll leave a nice uh, long strand so that I can weave that in to the end. There are just a couple of things to keep in mind when working with Plarn. One is that when you're actually making the Plarn, you've cut your strips and you're forming those loops, you don't want to pull that too tightly or else you'll rip uh, your Plarn. If that happens, you can simply tie it, knot it together where it's ripped, or you can cut that off and then go on to your next loop. The other thing is that when you're crocheting with Plarn, you do not want to pull your stitches really tight. So keep them a little bit loose so that when you need to crochet into that stitch, you'll be able to do it easily. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube video. Be sure to like it below and subscribe to my channel to get the latest ideas from the Birch Cottage blog.